Giannis, two starters out tonight, and the team still finds a way to get two it. Two starters? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does the depth of this team start to amaze you even more as the season goes on? Does it reveal anything else? It's crazy. You know, obviously, you know, everybody knows how big part was in uh, Bledsoe is. Uh, but, you know, when we went out there, like, in my mind, I wasn't even thinking, you know, two starters wasn't playing. So that's really good. You know, that that's... You know, make you realize how deep you know this team is, and uh, that guys are just ready to step up, uh, and uh, they're ready to go. So, it feels good. It feels good to know that you have guys like that behind you. Yes, uh, talked about your leadership. He thinks it's, it's gotten even better. Is that something in the off season just determined that maybe you want to be even more of a leader than you were in the past? I uh, yeah, I think uh, you know, going to the off season, obviously. Um, you know, you, you're you growing up, you know, and uh, you come back, you see the team and you realize, you know, this you know, this is your team and uh, guys want to hear your voice. And uh, you do not just have to lead on the court, you got to lead over the court also. So I just try to be more vocal and, um, you know, Coach Bob wants me to be more vocal and um, that's what I've been doing, you know. And uh, I'm a guy that doesn't like to talk too much, uh, like to lead by example, but at the end of the day, you know, this team atmosphere has been great and I am, have made me feel really, really comfortable, you know, being vocal and uh, just, you know, working on my leadership. Janice, you have a triple double in 22 minutes. I know that you have not moved much in the stats, uh, but you never had, like, it's your third triple double of the season. You never had that many triple double at this point of the season. Was this special to you? And do you think that you can break your record, which is five during the regular season? My record is five triple doubles yeah. in the regulars. Uh, you know, as you said, I don't look into stats. You know, all I care is that we came in here, we you know get, get the job done. Uh, we have got another one tomorrow. Um, stats are gonna be there, man. If you if you're on the court and you're playing and you have great teammates that they're looking for you and you know you're ready and prepared and you're working on your game, stats gonna be there. Uh, and that, that's easy. That's the easy part. Uh, the tough part now is to, you know, how can you make those stats count? You know, how can you, um, you know, it doesn't matter the triple double. I was just happy that I was able to, you know, make the right play and find my teammates and uh, we were able to, you know, knock down shots, threes, and uh, it was it was just good offense. So that means we're getting better. The Knicks, the Knicks were saying that they, they wanted to take away the paint because you guys are so, such a good mm -hmm. paint team. Did you see that? And how did you guys? I see, I see that. I definitely see that. But um, I don't think it was as consistent mm -hmm. with it. Um, obviously, I think they did a great job, you know, to begin the game. Uh, and that's when we realized we got to, you know, roll to the pocket and uh, find the guys in the corner or the wing uh, because they're trying to collapse as much as possible. Uh, but, yeah, I think as the game went on, um, the paint was opening up even more. And we were able to have uh, a little bit more driving lanes and stuff. We're used to you seeing you do some pretty amazing things, but you look pretty impressed by your brother's dunk there in the oh, fourth yeah. quarter. <laughs> well, how would you describe that? Uh, that, was, that was amazing. That was amazing. That was a crazy dunk. Uh, he came He came out of nowhere. Uh, you know, he gets in, you know, the means that he gets in, he always tries to play hard, but... It's crazy that he always gives us like a highlight or something, so we're all excited about it. How said that you wanted to play in as many games as possible. What do you have to focus on in your preparation? Play, play or win? I, I guess win too. Oh, yes. <laughs> but uh, that you wanted to basically to play as many games as possible. What do you have to focus on in your preparation to achieve that goal specifically? To win as many games as possible or play? To play. To as play. Many games as um, just gotta be ready. Uh, at this point in the game. Do not have to be just, you know, mentally ready. You got to be physically ready also. Um, you know, preparing your game, uh, get your body ready, rest your body, and um, at the end of the day, there's gonna be days that you you're hurt. There's gonna be days that you don't feel, you know, uh, good. Uh, but for me, I just want to be on the court. I want to be out here, do whatever it takes to help my team win, and um, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. How do you learn things though, in how to prepare to to be durable? How? Um, I don't think there's a way to prepare it. Just you got to take care of your body as much as possible. It's got to be, you know, the way we're living. You know, you got to like, like when I go back home, I'm going to take care of my body. You know, I don't drink soda, I don't eat sugar. Like it's got to be your lifestyle. Uh, and, you know, the couple, three, four years that uh, I learned how to do that because, you know, when you're a rookie, you don't know that. You, you eat a burger before the game, drink a Coke. 
and you just go out there and play. But you know, as you grow older, you can't be doing that. You know that that's not going to last. And um, once you realize that as fast as possible, that's going to help you, you know, take care of your body. Tomorrow, tomorrow's the real reunion with Malcolm Brogdon. Oh, he's playing? Yes. Oh, wow. as of, I mean, as of right now, you know, a lot of things can change in the NBA. But yes. uh, last time you had quite the description for him. What are you going to say this time about him? Um, actually, <laughs> I'm not going to say he's ugly. You know, he's, uh, he's studying everything up. He looks a little bit better. But that massage, though, mm, mm -mm, no. But no, I'm excited to see him. I'm uh, excited to play against him. Uh, he's been playing great. He's been leading his team. Uh, it's going to be a good game. Indiana is a tough team, and we've got to uh, be ready for him and uh, for his team. How much more comfortable are you shooting from the perimeter? I mean, you made the five threes the other night against the Lakers. Just how much more comfortable are you? Uh, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm just obviously I'm more comfortable. But uh, I just have the mindset to continue to you know, grow and get better. Uh, it doesn't really matter if they go, you know, they, you know I miss the shots. Uh, my team want me to shoot them. I'm going to keep shooting them because I know that at the end of the day, in order to be really successful and um, to help my team uh, you know, in the fullest, I've got to be able to knock down those shots.